If you would like to support the channel, then please turn off adblock and refresh the page. Alternatively, use the link in the description below to donate to T1 Patreon. Thank you. Hello Magic Community, T1 Glistener Elf here. I'm going to be playing Blazing Infect for potentially the last time. This is the first round of Top 8. Somehow I did not actually get knocked out last time. I thought that I was playing for Top 8 being in. No, thankfully that's not how it worked, so I'm in! Yes! I'm not for C like it would have been, but... And that might matter for this, because I'm, I'm playing Blazing Infect, but more importantly, you've seen this deck plenty of times. You've seen it in the previous videos. Decklist is in the description. I'll scroll down just so that you get a bit of an idea. Ooh, there we go. Ooh. 75 cards. Cool. You can pause it if you need. Uh, this is what my opponent's on. Shops. Shops on the play, unless you're Dredge, is terrifying for most decks, and I am no exception. It's not as bad for me as it could be for a lot of decks. Paradoxical Storm. <laughs> but it's a, it can be a pretty big deal. So I'm going to hope I make it. Uh, there's not really anything that's terribly crazy to note. Only two Hangerback Walkers is a little unusual, I think. But I'm not actually sure that it is. Uh, we see three Phyrexian Metamorphs. I assume we have more Metamorphs and fewer Walkers. Walker synergizes with uh, yeah, Arcbound Ravager. So... That makes sense. For Walking Ballista, of course, I'm about to have my face shot in. That's a card I'm terrified of. That's not a card I'm looking forward to. Importantly to note, there is a copy of Spell Pierce. It's just one Spell Pierce in here, so if it shows up, we're... It, this would have been a, uh, another Mental Misstep or a Fluster Storm, but instead it's a Spell Pierce in part because it actually does something in this particular matchup. Even though I lose points in other matches, other blue matches especially, Spell Pierce does something here. I don't know why it's that version of Spell Pierce that is definitely not my favorite, but... Uh, and so, what I could be on? I could be on the combo plan, I could be on Tinker Blightsteel, I could be on Show and Tell. So we'll see what happens, and uh... Oh, speaking of Spell Pierce... Keep for win ready. Okay, cool. Hello, friend. <laughs> good luck, friendo. I'll say good luck to you too. Good luck to you too. ta -da. Okay, um thinking. I'm on the draw. Uh, yeah, so I get a Gitaxian Probe and I get another draw on top of that to find a blue source. Even if I don't find a blue source, I have Ink Moth Jet, so I have a Mox, but we have a, a few problems here. I don't have either Progenitus or Blasphemous Act or Blazing Shoal. I don't have any copies, so I might be in trouble if I keep this hand. Nevertheless, I'm against Shops on the play, and okay, it, it is a Wasteland Strip Mine deck. Uh, if it's Wasteland, it's obviously Strip Mine. Um, and I know that my opponent is not rocking, excuse me, Ghost Quarters as well. If we look here, we see four Factory. No copies of Ghost Quarter. This is usually the flex slot for the lands where you can have Ghost Quarter, sometimes Cavern, but often it's going to be Mistress Factory. And because of that, I'm a little less worried about getting land destruction shenanigans to death. Uh, but this is, oh, this is tough. This is tough. I could be facing down a turn one sphere effect and be in a little bit of trouble. A little bit of trouble. So we're going, I'm going to keep though. I have a force of will, so I think I can stall for time. Keep. Have at it. All right, cool. We have a mox. Mox Jet. All right, and I'll I'll keep my. Uh, oh yes. Um, I guess I need to do no response. So this is going to be asked of every single thing I do. <laughs> Strip mine. Oh no. What's that? That's a thinking. You know that's probably okay. I think I can deal with a Steel Overseer. At least a Naked Steel Overseer is fine. Yeah. Uh, we're going to say no response. Cool. I can live with that. Go on to my turn. Draw a card. Ooh. Please. Hit something, Probe. Please. Target you. Uh, Walking Ballista. Revoker. Revoker. Now, Revoker cannot name uh, Ink Moth Nexus. However... I'm in a pickle. I'm in a real pickle here. Because you notice something. It can name a Mox. Now, if it names Mox Jet, it hits both of our Jets. Not just mine. 
although my opponent being ahead on board is okay. Then they can strip moth my ink moth, strip mine ink moth nexus and I'm in trouble. So I'm going to take a screenshot just in case it gets hidden. Alright, find a card, find it. Ah, no, we didn't get there. We did not get there. I'm going to do ink moth, jet, pass turn. Going to pass the turn. Yeah, shops versus blazing infect. What could possibly go wrong? All right. We're gonna find out. All right, which one are you wanting to name first? I assume, I assume, perhaps incorrectly, that Ballista is going to come down first. Partially because Ballista on one would give it out to Ink Moth Nexus that doesn't involve using up the strip mine. Partially because there's a Steel Overseer which synergizes with Walking Ballista. So if my opponent does not see me drop blue mana... Okay, which one are we doing? Thinking, I assume? Um, we're gonna say... Alert response. Alert! Alert! Hmm. <laughs> this is tricky. Uh, I'm a little bit tempted to say pitch one of the Blighted Agents. It's going to be Force of Will. Take one. Thinking. Pitch. Spell Pierce. I see nothing in the hand for which Spell Pierce works. And we're past the Sphere Effect part of the game, so I'm going to exile a Spell Pierce. Be gone, Knave. Be gone. <laughs> Be gone, Knave. <laughs> Knave is not a, a proper noun, but oh well. <laughs> Oops. Please pass the turn. Oh, a wasteland. Oh, no. Float. And it's dead. That's actually supposed to be in the yard here, but oh well. Whatever. I'm in trouble now. Oh no! Stop drawing Blighted Agent! Well, this Revoker is going to hurt a lot. This Revoker is going to hurt a lot. <laughs> yeah, I'm in trouble. No! Not looking good for Phyrexia. Autopiloting is for real, lol. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah, it's, it's okay. <sighs> it's all good. You're probably taking this one anyway. So what looks to have happened is that my opponent forgot to tap Steel Overseer to put a counter on everything. And by everything, I mean Steel Overseer. So, it's, you, I mean, about, is it too late? Oh, I probably should have said we're okay. We're okay to do it. I wouldn't mind my opponent. They can, whatever, it's fine. Uh, I'm going to say no response. This is not looking good. Not a bit, <laughs> not a bit at all. No response. I'm going to just prep it. What's it say? No! Don't! <laughs> Alright. Well, as if it couldn't be bad enough. Please, what is this? It's a jet! I mean, it's an emerald! Not a jet! It's an emerald! Two for the price of one. I love opponents like this that just don't mind having some fun while they play. <laughs> Value! Value. Yeah, it's not looking good for me. We are pretty thoroughly done, this game. Pretty thoroughly done. The good news is... Well, I'm getting my butt handed to me. Let me say no response here real quick. No response. While I'm getting my butt handed to me, 
Uh, notice in the sideboard, this crazy formatted sideboard I have, uh, Damping Sphere can come in. It It's good on the play, it's bad on the draw. It makes Factory and Ancient Tomb, only, or Workshop and Ancient Tomb, only tap for one, so it's okay. It's not great, but it's okay. Three Hercules Recall, four Energy Flux. So I'm o I think I'm okay, and I could even bring in the Echoing Truth if I need. Oh my god. Ermagerd. Taking the three. Uh, no block. Okay, I was about to say, no blocks. Alright, we're tapping it. That makes a little more sense. That makes a little bit more sense. Taking the one, two, three, four. Do, 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 Okay. Now, what could I possibly draw? The answer, there isn't an answer. Game two. Oh, crap. What did I just hit? Oops. Game two. Oops. Oops. Uh, the winner was Sinister. So we're going to do next game. Ta-da! Okay, so let's see what we have. Cards that don't do anything. That do, technically speaking, jack. So we have... Force of Will on the play isn't as good in my mind's eye. There's not as much... I want to... Hmm... Oh, okay. Let's let's take out the easier outs first. Mental misstep does nothing. Mental misstep does nothing. Probably gonna have to end up taking out uh, taking out force of will as well. Spell pierce doesn't do enough. This is a mostly creature deck, and when I'm on the play, I'm a little bit less worried about the sphere effects. You see, four sphere, a thorn, and a trinisphere, and a chalice. I'm a little bit less worried about those. Chalice, I, if my opponent really knows what to do. Chalice on 12 is <laughs> is actually not a thing you can do anyway, because you need 24 mana, but like I, I don't care about Chalice on... I can get by with Chalice on 1. Chalice on 2 can be a pain if I haven't already stuck a Blighted Agent or a Plague Stinger, but I can still cast through it. So, anything else I need to take out? Um, how, what are the odds they don't have anything for me? 100%! They do not have anything for me for this matchup. The, Let's see, actually. Gravedigger's Cage? Null Rod? Uh, I mean, not really. It hits my Moxin, and that's about it. Sorcerer's Spyglass. Now, that's a thing. They can bring that in and find, say, Ink Moth Nexus. They can name Ink Moth Nexus with that, so that's okay. Dismember? Sure. I mean, that's too slow. You're too slow. You're too slow. <laughs> Come on, step it up. Sonic fan. Sorry completely unironic Sonic fan. So I, I do not... I, that's just me. Alright. So, going back to Force of Will. Force of Will is coming out. One, two, three, four. We're going down all of our copies of Force of Will. And we're bringing in the other copies of Hercules Recall. Oh, no, no, no. Not the Grapdigger's Cage. There we go. Now, if I have enough room for one more, I can take out something and put in a an, um, an Echoing Truth, or a Damping Sphere. Now this is mostly for Paradoxical Storm. On the play, I can bring it in here, and I just might. I just might. Because if they have a shop or a tomb, I could be in... Oh, I'll be on the play. <laughs> nice Jedi mind trick. <laughs> I mean, you can try. <laughs> all right, all right. Enough silliness. You know, if they really have a hard read on Tinker, they could bring in Cage. They're not bringing in Cage. There's no chance, no chance in heck that they're bringing that in. I can take out a Blasphemous Act, but that really decreases the value of Mental Misstep. I mean, a, a Mystical Tutor. Excuse me. You know, when I was going into this tournament, I was expecting a lot more Storm, a lot more Paradoxical Storm. Damping Sphere hasn't been doing me as much, and I really want it to have some use here. So what I might do is I might take out a Gataxian Probe and put in a Damping Sphere. That's... I think that's what I'm going to... That could... that could bite me. No, it's okay. 
It's okay. I. It's weird not playing a Damping Sphere once this entire season, but this is not the match it was for, so I think that's okay. It, it's supposed to have some side benefits against um, against shops. It's not that's it's not its main function. All right, what do I have? A Hercules Recall, Land, Mox, Blighted Agent, Blazing Shoal, Recall. I have a lot going for me here. I have a lot going for me here. Like, ho ho holy crap, I have a lot going for me. Jedi Mind Trick, but I have poor grammar as well. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Uh, you didn't capitalize. Would you to be? Oh, okay, would you to be? Laws. Uh, I mean, I can't not keep it. This is this is a fine hand. Oh, coffee to keep me awake for this. Definitely coffee. I'll keep as well. Very good. We're going to start off with bum bum bum. Okay. So to start off. Once again, I am playing against a deck that runs four Wasteland and a Strip Mine. It is risky to go fetch here for an Underground Sea. I have no black cards in my hand. I can wait. I can fetch here and get an Island, and then wait. So, I could go... I have a number of ways. I can threaten the turn one kill. I open myself up to Walking Blista, but because I slided out all of my counter magic, I'm going to lose to Walking Blista anyway. So, I can go for that, and then have, I can have, next turn, Ancestral Recall, go for Lethal with the Blazing Shoal. I think that's what I'll do. I think that that's the correct play. Alternatively, I could Preordain here, or I could hold up Hercules Recall for some reason. But you can see what I'm doing. Grabbing that island, that Guru Island. Shoutouts to Guru Islands, and shoutouts to decks that play zero counterspells. <laughs> I can just kinda go. I'm glad that my opponent won even though they, they missed the, the Steel Overseer ability, and the reason is because I wouldn't want to win only because my opponent made an obvious mistake like that. It's one thing when you, you choose the wrong path when it's not clear which one's right, like just then, I had a few openers I could have used. It's another thing when that's what happens, so, you know. Yeah, no. Alright, turn one, walking blister, go. <laughs> As Shia LaBeouf would say, just do it! Yep, that's a shop. So the Damping Sphere... Ooh! Let me see if this targets. She doesn't look at an opponent. Okay, I was going to try to be cheeky. <laughs> that's a. Uh, is that Mortal Kombat? Is that Toasty? Is that what that's from? I I'd like to think so. Notes: Mox Emerald. Yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I actually get a little bit more reach with a Ponder instead of the Ancestral Recall. That's curious. That's curious. So, I can ponder, look at the top three cards. If I don't see Progenitus, I can shuffle and then go. Ooh. It's all good. I don't mind. Mm-hmm. I'm sharing the courtesy. You didn't hide from me. What a, you're a nice person. Uh, Sinister. <laughs> Sinister is a nice person. Uh, Carmenova, as the other name, is a nice person. Hide if a brainstorm happens at all. I will if it does. Thank you. 
Very nice of you. I appreciate that. I am so t If there's ever a time when you should ponder instead of Ancestral Recall, it's now. My opponent has f 6 If I find Progenitus or Blasphemous Act, I win the game on the spot. I think I can make a case that it's right to do this. And so, here goes nothing. Ponder. The look of confusion on my opponent's face. Maybe they realize. Maybe they see what's going on. Alright. Oh god, I have to remember how to do ponder in this. Uh, look at top three. Oh! Okay. Okay. Now... Yeah, I, I think I have to shuffle here. I think I have to shuffle. Um, put it back, shuffle, draw a card, hope it's a blue source, or Progenitus, or Blasphemous Act. Hey, I mean, if that had been a recall, it would have been a recall into three lands. That wouldn't have felt great. Draw. Okay, well, we found a, we found a land. We're, we're gonna spin the wheel again, I guess. I mean, let's go for it. <laughs> let's do it. As Evangeline would say, do it! We got this, we got this. All right. I'm gonna move you into the wasteland. You're over here, bud. You're in timeout. Okay. Recall. Okay, grave the graveyard's out of order. No one cares. One, two... <clears throat> nope, we did not get there. Folks, ladies and gentlemen, we didn't get him. Well, nevertheless, maybe I'll get a chance to say, Down goes Sinister! Down goes Sinister! Uno! It's okay. I am at peace. I am at peace. Until they drop a, a walking ballista, I am at peace. No, 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 no. I mean, walking ballista is a, a big deal, but almost anything else, I don't care. Because I have a Hercules recall. Hercules recall is okay. Walking ballista, unfortunately, can get by Hercules recall. It's unfortunate, but it's true. Heck, in the likely event that they'll be able to put more than one counter on it, they can have their cake and eat it too. If I Hercules Recall with a Walking Ballista, they can throw all the counters except one off, then have it get bounced back to hand, and none of my creatures have haste, so unless I have an Ink Moth Nexus that's already down, that survived Strip Mine and Wasteland, I don't have a window to clear them before the Walking Ballista can come back down. It stinks to- ooh, there's a Mox. You drew a Mox for the turn. That's interesting. Ballista, I swear. Lodestone Golem, that would be so much better than Ballista right here. What is it? What is it? Come on, opponent. Okay, Lodestone, I can live with that. No response. I can live with that. Lodestone Golem is fine. It's a pretty quick clock. This thing is restricted in Vintage for a reason. But in my deck, I think I'm okay. Oh, that's a... Dang it. Ooh, that... You're good. Okay, that's actually supposed to be in the yard at the time, but... Ah, oh well. No one cares. Mmm. Ooh, maybe I should fetch here. I think I'm supposed to fetch here. It'll deck thin me a little bit. Oh, what am I doing? It's over here. Okay. I mean, 
there is a chance I could have had something like a brainstorm, but my opponent's already seen half my hand. I think I'm okay hiding that information. I'm pretty sure that's alright. Now, if they can strip mine me or wasteland me one more time, I won't be able to cast this recall without yet another land. Alright, so obviously this is going to be good. Alright. Let's look at the top two. Uh, look at cards. Look at top two cards. There we go. <gasps> oh, do you see what I see? So we have Blasphemous Act, Energy Flux. This is good. So next turn, we can straight up just go for it. I'm going to squeeze the damage in. I don't want my opponent to think I... If I don't attack, and then on a later turn I do attack, it can give information away to my opponent about having it right then. Not that it matters, this thing's unblockable, but margins. Small margins. Plus, I'm at 17. I'll live. I'll live. Now wasteland me again. I dare you. I dare you. It actually doesn't matter if you wasteland me again. You can wasteland me here. I'll still have an underground... I mean, I'll still have an island, and that's all I need to cast Blasphemous Act. Or, excuse me, Blazing Shoal Blasphemous Act, because that's how Blazing Shoal works. Oh, I feel good. I mean, we're still gonna lose the match, but, you know, we're gonna pretend it's okay. It's okay. We got this. We got this. Pump myself up. No response. <laughs> Just gonna let my opponent... Alright, cool. There we go. We got it. We got there. It's a 5-3. Balanced. The reason this thing is restricted, in case you don't know, YouTube, is that it is both disruption and a clock. Most of what you see in the shop's deck is one or the other. Very few things are both. Lodestone Golem is... Oh! <gasps> Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, you did it! You did it! You did it! In top eight! You did it! No! Oh, oh, yes! Yes! Oh, I'm so, I'm so, no! I'm furious! I'm furious! No! <laughs> no! <laughs> okay. Top ten anime twist. Top ten anime plot twist. No! 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 How could you do this to me? How could this happen to me? What counter? LOL. Well, okay, maybe my opponent, because this has happened elsewhere in the league, so this is not out of the realm of possibility. Maybe my opponent did not realize that Chalice on 2 does not stop Blasphemous Act. Um, or excuse me, I keep saying Blasphemous Act. Blazing Shoal. Maybe my opponent did not realize that. It also could be the case they did realize that, or whether they realized it or not, that they were looking at Hercules Recall instead which is kind of a big deal. All right. I don't get out of this actually. I'm I'm dead. I'm dead. Do I make him do it? I'm going to make him do it. I'm going to make you do it. Come on, dude. Come on. Shake it. Shake it. Shake it. Shake it. You you have to do it. Yes! You got the... I was hoping... <laughs> Alright, I had to make you do it. I had to make you do it. 
All right. <laughs> yep. Okay, you got there. You got there. How could this happen to me? <laughs> All right. Fair, fair. Okay, an important point. Um actually, actually I don't I don't I don't know how that works. If you did I just have a rules mishap? Like if you know that your opponent has a trigger, can you check them to see if they can miss it? So like if, if my opponent, I know this doesn't happen on MTGO because it checks it for you, but on, in paper, if your opponent has a chalice, can you run something into a chalice and see if they notice it? Because they have to know their triggers? Or do you get in trouble if you, whatever, this is unsanctioned, but yeah, that would actually be a good thing to point out. If you know that in the comments, if you know whether you can intentionally make your opponent check their triggers, let me know, because I, I do not. I thought you could. I kind of think you can, but watch me be wrong. Okay. Um, there are no outs here. Yep. I'm going to do it. I'm gonna do it. I don't have the. <gasps> I don't have the lands to do it. Oh no! <laughs> One, two, three, four, and I only have four fetchable lands in the deck. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> no! <laughs> you know, I have my deck list. There's no point in revealing this. Uh, my opponent knows my deck list. They can see I don't have any fetchable lands. So there's no point in even pretending. Uh, I'm going to get double checked on this. <laughs> Do it. Lulz. Okay, okay. GG. Good luck in top eight. <laughs> I saw the chalice on two. Oop, I can't it's type that quickly apparently. And thought that you misread uh, Blazing Shoal. <laughs> oh, congrats on making top eight. Yay! Hey! Oh, there's the Sphere. Sphere, Steel Overseer, Arcbound Ravager. Uh, let me reveal mine as well. Because uh, I, I had an Energy Flux. <laughs> energy Flux too slow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was an interesting play line. Yeah, it stopped. Uh, Hercules Recall. That was... Pretty good. Now, if I had taken out Gitaxian Probe for Damping Sphere, it wouldn't have mattered that game, because I didn't see Gitaxian Probe, ergo I wouldn't have seen Damping Sphere. That's the idea. That was pretty good. And your threats, aside from an Ink Moth... Yeah, Ballista is a problem. Ballista's a little bit of a problem. A lot of a problem. I usually don't worry about Chalice on 1, and Chalice on 0, it, it, if it's on the play, it can stop my Moxon, that's fine. But Chalice on 1 is often where Chalice will go, and lo and behold, Ballista is a Yu-Gi-Oh card. <laughs> Indeed. As a Yu-Gi-Oh player too, yeah, yeah it kind of is. Only real Yu-Gi-Oh players know. No, no. It, it feels kind of like a Swiss Army knife that does so many things. Um, except that unlike a Yu-Gi-Oh card, it doesn't have a mile of text that requires you to get out a magnifying glass to see. Because it stomped all my brews. Oh, okay. I hate it in modern... So oh! As an Infect player, it stomps my non-brew. I say that, I've actually never lost... Not that I can remember, I don't think I've ever lost to Tron. Uh, at all, in Modern. I don't think I've ever lost a sample, while playing Infect, excuse me, specifically while playing Infect. 
I don't think I've ever... I have lost to Tron before, <laughs> just not playing in fact. Walking Blista hasn't done enough, slash been seen often enough. Well, GG and thanks. Want to play test sometime? I, I don't mind one bit. I don't mind a single bit. That would be pretty cool. It'd be nice to keep up with some of these players. And thankfully, because this is done through Discord, I have a log of against whom I've played. I could use some shops practice. Shops seems like a fun deck. All right. But in the meantime, I'm just going to let this thing go. Um, YouTube, I'm out at I'm out at eight. Well, I played against the third seed. I'm six seed, so I guess I'm out at sixth. Maybe we'll we'll see how the rest of it goes. If I lost to the person who won, maybe I'm the top of the bottom four. Yeah, okay, that is how that works. All right. Otherwise, oh, sure thing. Otherwise, I'm with friends. Cool. Fair enough. That makes a lot of sense. Classes. Yeah, that'll do it. Joys of being a student. I remember those days. All right, take care, Magic Community. I will see you later. Bye-bye. Hello again, Magic Community on YouTube. I'm T1 Glistener Elf, and my opponent and I made a mistake. We didn't realize that in top eight, we were supposed to play best of five instead of best of three. And so I'm actually still potentially in it, although I would have to reverse 3-0 <laughs> to get out of it. The first game is going to be pre-board, and if I win, I will then have to win two sideboarded games, because I've already lost a sideboarded one. So, here's here's to it not going horribly. Also, shout out to this lighting for making my eyes look just like, like black Kithkin orbs, I guess. <laughs> they look really dark. That's just the shadow. And uh, I'm on the play. So, let's see, I see a land, a Hercules Recall, Gitaxian Probe, Blighted Agent, Mystical Tutor for Blazing Shoal, or Blasphemous Act, and a Vampiric Tutor. So this is eminently keepable. So I will say keep. I'm assuming that my opponent's going to do the same. Uh, I told Sinister, aka Carmenova, that I was going to be uh, recording the little intro again. So if there's a bit of a delay, That'll do it. Oh, you know what? I forgot something. I will be right back. Alright. Having gotten word from my opponent that uh, he's keeping, we're gonna say... Start off with a Gitaxian Probe. Pay the two. Oh, what did I have to stop the camera for? Coffee. Shoutouts to coffee. Shoutouts to caffeine. Because... This is going to be a long match, especially if I'm doing well. Okay. I'm going to try to keep the uh, delays down, if I can help it. Let's see. I'm trying to get a uh, word from my opponent. Okay, so no response. Ta-da! Okay. Um, mind playing revealed again? I took a screenshot just in case, and in fact, I'll open it up in Paint. <laughs> Shoutouts to MS Paint. Alright, so this is... Sure thing, okay, actually, my opponent's gonna be real cool about it. So, I'm gonna see Mox Academy... I mean, there could be a, a factory, but we didn't start that that early. Well, I don't know, they, they know that... My opponent knows I don't have Wasteland or Strip Mine. So they can do Academy first if they'd like. And then Ballista is a pain. Ballista means I'm probably losing this game, uh, actually. But it does let me know what to play around. Because now I can know, I, I know that I can tinker, or I can, um, oh, this is going to be fun. Well, you know, there is Hercules Recall, but Hercules Recall is not particularly good against uh, Walking Ballista, of course. And they could, my opponent could wait on the Ballista until it's absolutely time. This is also pre-board, so my opponent does not know that I have... You know what, actually we're going to do this first. We're going to do a fetch land up, and we're going to say... Pass the turn. Alright, well, here goes nothing. 
here goes nothing. Walking ballista, why? That is a problem. That is a problem. You know, there's there are a bunch of cards in the format that make my deck not super viable. It, it Lavinia hurt a lot because Lavinia keeps the blazing Sholin itself from working. Um, and we have backup plans though. We have show and tell, and we have tinker. A walking blista, similarly to Lavinia, shuts that whole thing down. All right. I probably could have forced the Walking Ballista if I had played the Ink Moth Nexus first. But we'll see what my opponent's going to do. I'm going to guess... I mean, Thorn wouldn't be a bad idea here. Alright. Let me uh, alert a response. Because I can use one of my tutors here which I would l probably like to do. So, um, what's, what's good? What's good? Well, I'll tell you why. I can, on one of these turns, I can fetch, and I'll, I'll fetch here anyway, because that much is definitely happening. No matter what, that's happening. Seeing that my opponent at least didn't have, um, have a strip mine or wasteland, I think it's okay to go for this. Go for an underground sea. Now, what's the order here? What about Vampiric Tutor so that I don't give away to my opponent what I might have? And I'll use Vampiric Tutor to go and get... Am I on the show and tell or the tinker plan? I think I have to be on the show and tell plan because I don't have an artifact yet. Alright. If I'm on the show and tell plan, I'm getting progenitus and adding it to hand. Oh crap, it's on top of the deck. I got there. I got there. It's not Demonic Tutor, Jay. It's Vampiric Tutor. Ah. Alright. Now we're good. Well... I mean, I'm going to draw that card anyway. Okay. Cool. Untap. Gee, I wonder what I was going to draw. We'll play an Ink Moth. And we'll run out the... We'll run out the Blighted Agent. It's dead, but we're going to run it out. We can make them... It, they're not going to run the Ballista here yet. I mean, if they do... So, Teleron Academy makes... Let's see, we're looking at one, two... Teleron Academy makes two. Four, that's a two-two walking Ballista. That's serviceable, because it'll kill one of my dudes. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, play the Ballista. You have to. You can kill Blighted Agent with the ability to kill another one. Uh, we're going to say... Uh, no response. Alas, we have no response. But we get the blist out now. Are you going to wait? You have the priority, you can do it. So, what I'm going to try to do is, uh, depending on what I draw here, I'm anticipating... Okay, yo. Untap draw. Well, there's a one-mana Mox. I 
I'm going to put Blighted Agent on blocking duty, actually. I, I need to stay alive. So our one mana Mox. We're going to hold up a Mystical Tutor. Well, Mystical Tutor will set the next card in my, in my deck, which means I won't draw a land next. Um... Hmm. We're on mega blocking duty. Mega blocks. Um, it, it doesn't really matter. They're going to have enough that they can put more counters on walking ballista, unfortunately. So no matter what, that thing is... That, that's a pain. Very technically. That is a pain. Uh, but if I can block it, I can prevent a little bit of damage. So we're going to pass the turn. I'm assuming EOT... At least one of them, well, yeah, one of them dies. If they're smart, it'll just be one. Yep. Removing, poking, blighted agent. Yep, blighted agent's dead. That'll do it. Um, I would like to try to draw another land or a mox before I move on um, with the mystical tutor. Since mystical tutor sets the top card of my deck. I can also just do it here on upkeep. What's going on here? Oh, it's a Steel Overseer. I, I can live with that, but... And I, I suppose I see why they did it that way. Um, it's, it's worth it. It's worth it. Ooh, hi. That looks like fun. Alright, we're definitely untapping. Um, hmm. Let's see. We'll, we'll take our draw. That's a land. That's okay. That's we, we can live with a land. We do have to be a bit wary. There's no Ravager yet. If there is, we have to fire off that recall. So I'm, I'm going to pass the turn, end of turn, pump it up, and fire off a counter. Yep, end step. I hope that Sinister, aka Carmenova, just has that on, uh, you know, copy, has that in the clipboard. So just paste it, whatever you need. I have a sneaking suspicion that's what we're going to be doing. Ooh, we're not shooting it yet. I guess there's no need just yet. Combat, okay. Alright. Just the walking ballista. <laughs> it's a little bit of a bait, but I'm I'm surprised that no factories are being used. I'm going to block it with a plague stinger because when I use Hercules Recall. I'm uh, I'm gonna lose the plague stinger anyway. All right. They're, they're just gonna fire a shot off at the plague stinger, which only saves me a point. What what happened? Oh yeah, fired it off to. Oh no no no! This is infect damage. Okay, it ends up being the same result regardless whether they took the damage or whether they shot it. Either way. Um, that is a revoke. Her. Thinking. So what if, what if, hear me out, I, um, okay, okay. What if I float the mana off of the Mox Pearl? I would like to, at end of turn, do it. 
I hear that. That is loud. One of our neighbors Okay, um, float white. Now I'm gonna say no response. See what they name. Um, whoa, 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 whoa. Mox Opal? Am I? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, but I think they meant Mox Pearl. You meant Mox Pearl, right? Or did you mean Mox Opal? That's that's weird. Like, we have access to each other's deck list, so my opponent knows I don't have an Opal. Okay. Uh, EOT. Hercules Recall. Okay, I didn't get to do that with my opponent having attacked, unfortunately. Oh, we have a response. I'm assuming it's throw more counters into uh, Ballista so that we can fire it. Animate Factory, okay. Um, this is odd. This is odd. We're animating it and it's going to get returned to hand. But that's okay, so Atelier Academy makes one, two, three, four, five, six. Six mana, okay. Tap Steel Overseer makes one, two, three. It's going to add an extra counter on Walking Ballista. Okay. What is, what is happening? Ping me twice. Okay. Uh, I'll take the two. I think I missed that. Okay. So one counter was added from mana, one counter was added from Steel Overseer, and then they're going to start returning to hand. Okay, okay. Now, this does mean that if I tutor up Blazing... No, wait. I just win. I don't even have to show and tell. I just win. Mystical Tutor, tutor up Blazing Shoal. I have an Ink Moth Nexus. Ta-da! Okay, we might have maybe edged this one out somehow. I don't know how. I'm still trying to figure that one out myself. But we just... Oh, jeez. I'm so glad I didn't go over the Tinker plan there. I mean, it's, it's fine. It would have ended up working anyway. But I get to just kill my opponent outright. Okay, so my opponent has seven cards in hand and has passed to me. So we're going to untap. Oh, wait, wait, my opponent missed one. Take your time. I understand. What is going on down there? Why is the wall shaking? I'm hearing all these loud... I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but I'm hearing, like, furniture move or something. Um... Upkeep. Now, my opponent's on shop, so I know that there's nothing they can do here. And my opponent knows that, so, uh... <laughs> find card. Blazing Shoal. Stick it on top of the deck. Draw it for turn. Animate it. I don't know why I animated that in beginning of combat. Animate in beginning of combat for some reason. Lulz. 
Yeah, that's typically not what you want to do. Typically, you want to animate in your main phase so that if your opponent happens to deal with it, you still have your main phase to do other things as well. But I, I just got in, you know, really casual, I need caffeine mode. GG? Okay. <laughs> Game four. <laughs> now I need to win two more times in uh, sideboarded games. Now the sideboard, I have a lot to bring in. I'm going to do the same thing I did last time. I could do Damping Sphere as well. That is true. So I have Damping Sphere, which on the play makes Ancient Tomb and... Uh, and um, blah, blah, blah. Um, makes Ancient Tomb and Mishra's Workshop tap for one mana. And also, if I get it out on my first turn, it can make my opponent's combo turn, like, not combo turn, but like, you know, mock Soul Ring, another mock Black Lotus. It can make all of that a little bit trickier. Um, so maybe I do bring in Damping Sphere. And what do I take out? Well, I'm not worried about my opponent having anything that I can... I'm taking out my counter magic, so Gitaxian Probe is not... Oh, sorry. I'm sorry about that. Is not as useful. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Mental Misstep does nothing in this match except for counter uh, Soul Ring, and I, there might be a Mana Vault. I don't think so. Let me check. As soon as my uh, browser decides it wants to... Hey, there we go. Uh, ha, ha. Yeah, no, this is in alphabetical order. So, there's a Mana Crypt, uh, there's a Soul Ring in here somewhere. There we go. Uh, but that's the only card it hits, so I'm not too terribly happy about that. Uh, I'm also making my opponent's Chalice on 1 a little bit less good. Not that, you know, it's... So Spell Pierce, it does more than, say, a Flusterstorm in the matchup, but it's still not great. Um, so Spell Pierce over Flusterstorm, because it has some utility in this matchup. Long story short, that, that's basically it. I can also take out... I could take out a Gitaxian Probe or a Preordain. Um, well, I only have two Preordains, and Gitaxian Probe doesn't... The information isn't as useful in this match. So I'm going to take that out, and I should have... Let me go back up here and make sure... Yeah, I put the Damping Sphere in. Okay! Oh, crap, my opponent's on the play. That's right. Um... Never mind. We're gonna we're gonna change that back out. So Gitaxian Probe comes in when I'm on the draw. Damping Sphere is not nearly as good. Uh, well, it may still be better than Gitaxian Probe. Actually, it may very well be. I'll try it. I'll try it. It's it's mostly in here for a paradoxical outcome. But I didn't see nearly as much of that as I had been anticipating. So we're going to... Oh, it says I shuffled. You know what? Heck, we're going to shuffle again. And then... I would like to be on the play. You sure can. That's how that works. Oh, oh. Okay, okay, okay. So we have a turn two energy flux, but it's on the draw. I can live with that. It's actually going to be a turn three, because I have a feeling that a sphere or a thorn is coming. Um, but I can't say no to this. This is, at least it has disruption and a tutor. Keep pass to my opponent because somehow it, it didn't catch whose turn it was. Or whose turn it started on. Uh, so yeah, there's a Mox. Oh man. I'm gonna try to claw myself back in. Need some caffeine to keep me up though. Mmm. That's a crypt, I believe. Oh, heads, okay, fair. Um, there's a coin flip in this somewhere. I actually don't know where, though. I knew it! I knew it! I felt that one coming in my soul. No comment. Okay, so if I can draw another Mox, um... I'm going to say thinking. Yeah, there isn't anything I can do here. I guess I have to at least threaten it. We're going to say no response. I guess I have to at least threaten it. Oh, 
Holy crap. Whale. They're going to name Mox Ruby. Well, it was good while it lasted. It was good while it lasted. I mean, they have three hits, actually. They can just hit either of my fetch lands or Mox Ruby. Um, I think it makes more sense to hit the Mox Ruby because if you hit one of the others, I can get, say, an island and then cast the Mox Ruby. Polluted Delta, okay, that's, that's fair. Well, it was good while it lasted. Please pass. Okay, thank you. May this nightmare be over. It's all ogre now. Um, with two cards in hand, do I risk... Do I risk one of them being Wasteland or Strip Mine? Do I risk it? Okay, so two cards left in the deck. My opponent took out five cards that I've already seen. Fifty-five cards, five of which are hits. Uh, plus, let's see if my opponent... No, no, they're running factories. They don't have Ghost Quarters. That's right. We're gonna we're we're going to say it's a I'm going to Yeah, I'm gonna fire it off into an underground sea. I'm gonna take the risk I think I have to take in order to stay in this. Um, if I don't, I won't have access to, to demonic tutor. Um, well I do still have preordain. I, I think I'm getting a read that they don't have it, um, but that could entirely be wrong because the Ancient Tomb is clearly... <sighs> Do I want to take the risk? And also, of course, they could just top deck it, so it's actually 3 out of 55, um, or 3 out of 55, yeah, 3 out of 55 cards to worry about. 60 minus the 5 I know. Um... Sure. Let's do it. All right. And then we will pass the turn. This is going to be a really late energy flux, but we, we're going to do it. We are hopefully going to do it. Okay, Crypt. Um, roll it. Oh, six is heads. Okay. So, okay, okay, that's fair. This is similar to the way that I do it in paper, where you roll a die, uh, evens are heads, odds are tails. I, I appreciate that that's how it's being done here. Um, not that it matters. In this matchup, it just straight up does not matter. If I can get this energy flux down, I see double ancient tomb. Uh, so, I, I think I'm in okay shape. If I can get it down. Big if. All right, what three mana? Is this going to be a Foundry Inspector? Nope, never mind. It's five mana. I mean, it's six, but, you know, minus one. Okay, so now we're going to tap the Crypt. What are we doing here? I'm confused. I, th I thought we might be seeing a Lodestone Golem off of five mana. Just pay a little extra. But uh, I have no idea what my opponent's up to. Now it's three mana, four minus one. Are you just, you're just toying with me. Stop playing with my heartstrings. Okay, okay. So we're just going to have a mana floating on a Steel Overseer. That's f more than fair. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> make way, make way. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Um, It's good. Yup. <laughs> nice. Oh, not again. Not again. Every game. <laughs> I know it's a four of, but come on. Every game? Well, what can you do, I guess? Mm, what can you do? Wow. 
Well, what we can do is we can hit lands or black lotus. Here's to it. Oh yeah, so my opponent is at 14. They're not going to get to cast too many more spells. If I can hit them with Hercules here, hit them with Hercules here. Okay, then we're in okay shape. Uh, but I need another land before I can guarantee that Hercules is good. Hercules Recall is good. So I'm, no, I'm not going to Mystical here. I'm just going to take a natural draw step, preordain, try to find something. Oh, I'm sorry, it's my turn. Alright, take a draw. It's a Damping Sphere. A little bit late, but I guess that can help later on, maybe? Question mark? Okay, no, no, not really. Alright, so we're going to... We could also brainstorm and put back the Polluted Delta that we don't need. And then we can fet send it away with Mystical Tutor later on. That's not a bad play either. Um, hmm... What do you think, folks? It would give me exactly as much reach through the deck, though. Um, um, I could also send away the Damping Sphere now that it doesn't do much. Like, I'm, I'm behind on board. It's, it's not enough for me to sit back and rely on Damping Sphere. So, I think... I think I would like to preordain, because while Mystical Tutor... Ooh, ooh, this is tricky. Yeah, I, I will preordain. Brainstorm has the power to give me a land and a Hercules Recall, potentially. Um, it can even give me multiple lands. Granted, I have one in my hand. And how did I diversify my land base earlier? This is going to be the one with a really messed up formatting for some reason. I have three Polluted Deltas, okay. Yeah, we're going to do the... I'm going to regret this. I'm going to regret this. Um... Yeah, we're going to do the preordain. If I want to do the Hercules recall, I have to... Um, and, not, and if I want to do Mystical Tutor, fetch away some, you know, shuffle the deck uh, to get Hercules on top, I won't also have a land. So I'm going to do a preordain here. And I should be getting the word from my opponent. I mean, it doesn't matter. Whatever. Alright, so cool. Let's look at the top two cards. What's my opponent going to do? Look at top two cards. Uh, ha, 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 ha. How about no? How about neither of those, unfortunately? Put that on the bottom. Put that on the bottom. And then draw. Okay, that's not what we needed. That is not what we needed, folks. Uh, well, to be fair, the Brainstorm wouldn't have made it any better there. I got to put the cards on the bottom, at least. And pass turn. Ripperoni. Eh, sometimes it happens. I still have a little bit of time. My opponent's going to flip here for... Okay, they're safe. Please start missing your rolls, please. Pretty please. You're breaking my heart. Perfection meme. Yeah. Perfection. What's it going to take to get me out of this? If I can find a land here, basically. No blocks? Yeah, okay. We're going to add uh, a counter with Steel Overseer at the very least. We could also take two to give it another point from Ancient Tomb. I don't see that coming, though. Also, my opponent could just ruin my dreams with a Strip Mine or a Wasteland. I mean, it's not the least likely thing that could happen. Alright, so I'm going to take two. Take three. Oh, wait a minute, they, they did take the two. Okay. Fair enough, fair enough. Speed up that clock just a little bit. And also, they don't see themselves as being under pressure. 
under pressure. I had to. We're getting dangerously close, folks. There's an ink moth. Okay. There is an ink moth. Ink moth versus ballista. Yikes. Something like that. Um, I don't actually have to mystical tutor here. I can detutor. I would like to save, if I can, I would like to save detutor, but I don't know that I... Hmm, I don't know that I can. See, mystical tutor is card disadvantage. I'm going to lose a card if I do that. What I would like to do is detutor for Hercules Recall or Energy Flux. Oh, um... Like, either of those cards would be great. Thinking. Man. Oh, it helps to be in a format where you actually have some time to think, but I don't want to take too long. I'm sorry, opponent. I'm sorry. So, um... If I detutor, my opponent... I mean, they're gonna play the same way no matter what. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure we're at a state where my opponent is just simply going to play the same way. Period. End of story. No matter what. Um... So, detutor so I don't take card disadvantage. And then, if I need to, later, I can cash in the Mystical Tutor as a wild card. I would like... Now, now, if I play an Energy Flux early, one issue with that is that I will lose my mocks. But I'm a deck that plays better with, with no artifacts than the Shops deck, obviously. Just a little bit. That, that is how that works. So, D-Tutor for Black Lotus. Black Lotus for one mana... Pop it for three mana, spend four for energy flux, and then I have a mana left over, but that doesn't actually do anything. So, okay, so we're going to actually do it for Hercules Recall. Yeah, we want to do it for Hercules Recall. I'm sorry, opponent. I know I took a long time doing that. I'm sorry. D Tutor. All right. If we can hit the combo of uh, Hercules Recall, or yeah, Hercules Recall into Energy Flux into Energy Flux, if my opponent gets rid of the Sorcerer Spyglass, I'll have enough mana to do another Energy Flux, for sure. Then we're okay. But for right now, find card. One of my four Hercules Recalls, and we haven't locked ourselves for a, a, a draw step here. Last turn, take a lot. All right, come on. Mr. Coin Flip. Please, Mr. Coin Flip. Okay. Ah, oh, why? One in eight. <laughs> uh, getting three coin flips in a row. Yeah, never mind, you, you got it. You can do math. You can do math, folks. Sweating over here. At least it's in fact. <laughs> I mean, life total, it matters. No, it doesn't. It does not. Okay, um. If my opponent could please start missing their mana crypts, <laughs> please, uh, then I might be able. Okay, oh, oh, okay, okay. Let's see how my opponent taps here, but one thing. Uh, of concern is I might give my opponent so I would what I would like to do is Hercules recall in combat so that my opponent has to play th things afterwards um, yep no blocks 
All right, tapping it, because obviously you're going to do that. It goes up to four. Now, how much mana are we going to spend here? My opponent didn't draw another land, so if they want to add a counter, they have to use an, an Ancient Tomb. Is it okay just to deal me four? Oh, we're doing it. We're doing it. I'm going to take five. Don't forget to plus one. Oh, that's a shop. Oh, that's a shop. That actually doesn't matter for energy flux, though. The ballista. You added... Yeah. You got it. You got it. Ta da Okay, I was confused for a second. Yeah, I don't I don't know. Okay, so workshop um workshop for um second main, yeah. Trinisphere. Okay, that actually makes zero difference. Why not? <laughs> uh, so sphere of resistance makes something that costs two cost three. Trinisphere says it has to cost three. We're good. We're actually good. Three. I learned just recently that this is three in ASL. So, be cool to try that out. Use it more. Use it more often. It's like packaging pellets with bubble wrap. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. All right, my turn. Let's see what I draw. What's it going to be? It's a blighted agent. That makes all the difference in the world. Um, whale at the. <sighs> How much can my opponent put on that ballista if I fire? If I wait till my opponent's next turn, so if I wait till my opponent's next turn, they could. They're going to flip the coin. They might take three. They might take zero. Um. Let's see. They're going to tap the Steel Overseer at the very least. That makes it six. And then I'm at a virtual five. Then they can put one... One extra counter from the mana. They're one shy because they can't use Mistress Workshop for mana for Walking Ballista. So they're one mana shy from being able to get... So I, I would be... If I did that, I would be at a virtual four. Um... And now that they have the Mishra's Workshop, it's less likely that they're going to lose simply by virtue of... Um, and I'm at a virtual 7 now. They, but they're less likely to lose simply by virtue of having to use their Ancient Tombs. Um, if I Hercules Recall, regardless of when I do it, they're going to play back out their, their lock pieces. They're going to play back out um, the, the Trinisphere, the Sorcerer's Spyglass the sphere. Um, if I Hercules Recall now, then I can play out the Polluted Delta and crack it for extra mana this turn. I'm tempted to wait so that I can play the Hercules Recall and then follow it up with uh, an Energy Flux. Okay. So once again, it's at 5 right now. It's going to go up to 7, so I'm at a virtual 4. Well, actually, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. I can't do it at end of turn, because if they attack... Eh. Okay, okay. Okay. So then... I should... Should I not Hercules Recall here, and then play the land and crack it? Should I not do that? Well, no matter what, I'm going to have to do. Well, they already know about the polluted delta. The only reason to keep it in my hand at this point is if I want to put it back with Brainstorm. But I, I need that extra land. Hercules Recall. Okay. 
We're doing it now. We're doing it now, folks. You are still in this. Yep. One, two, three, four. All right. That hurts. I'm hurt, dog. Don't ask if I'm okay. This is how it starts. I have double energy flux in hand. I just need to be able to get there. Okay. I'm going to leave up the polluted delta so that I can tempt my opponent with Sorcerer's Spyglass. Because I'm really not too worried about Sorcerer's Spyglass, honestly. Uh, I, I want them to do Sorcerer's Spyglass so I can fetch in response. We're going to say pass. Okay, come on, opponent. Come on. You've got, you have three mana for sure. You have three mana no matter what, you know. They don't take the coin toss here. <laughs> That's a lot of cards, but geez, I, I guess I know what most of them are. I, I know what all but two are. I believe, oh no, wait, did my opponent go to zero to play the Trinisphere last turn? Okay, so man, Rocks Ruby, of course. Let's see what comes out first. A whole new Mox. A dazzling jewel I never knew. <laughs> I'm, I'm, a, I'm a, dirt, a dork. I'm a nerd. Okay, so these are looking really bad in the face of an energy flux. I think I'm okay with... Oh! 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 Oh, oh please! Please! Alright. So we're looking at four just off that. Plus three from the shop. That's seven. Um... Whether they, whether they play the Sphere and then the Trinisphere or the other way around, they're going to pay the same amount of mana. Um, because it's either 2 and then 4, or 3 and then 3. As you can tell, I like math. I love math. <laughs> okay. Um, this, this Damping Sphere... I'm sorry, man. Energy Flux is just a lot better. And also, my opponent gets to actually play what they're going to do here. Play what they want to play. All right. Uh, we're going to respond. Go to, wait, 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 wait. Thinking. Okay, okay. So, thinking about this rationally, my opponent has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 mana. That's going to put 4 counters on Walking Ballista. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm about to go to 6 here. So, four counters on Ballista. If it gets to attack at all, then I'm dead. That, that's going to happen no matter what. If it attacks, then I am dead. So, we're going to fetch here. Don't forget that, Jay. That's important. We're going to find another black source, because my opponent clearly does not have, or did not have at least, uh, Wasteland or Strip Mine. Well, Wasteland. That's the one where it would matter. Uh, now it may resolve. And now they're going to name either Mox Ruby. No, they can't name Mox Ruby because they have their own Mox Ruby. So they're going to name Ink Moth Nexus. Any card name. Yep, better name Ink Moth Nexus. That's, that seems like the, the obvious play. Oh my god, can I please, please make it out of this alive? Please. I I just I just want one. Please. Oh, don't do this. Or they could name something really off the wall like Black Lotus. I guess that's possible too. Um in response to a sphere, I'm going to Mystical Tutor here. If they play out a sphere... Oh, crap! <laughs> Double flux. <laughs> I know! I know! I don't know why I, I just... 
I need coffee. If I somehow survive this game, I'm going to get some more coffee. While you think... No, 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 it's going to take too long. I, I was going to say, while you think, may I get coffee, but no, that'll take too long. Uh, removed notes. <laughs> um, Ink Moth? I, I don't want to suggest anything to my opponent. They have my deck list, so they can also just look over that, but it seems like it, just from what my opponent has right now, it looks like it's obvious it's Ink Moth. Like, if you name Mox Ruby, you cut yourself off of some mana. You can float some in response right now, though. Um, I guess the ability is a result. Whatever. You just, you just float. I'll, it's fine. I'll allow it. You float mana in response. Name Mox Ruby. And then I'm on three mana. And then you play a uh, you play your Sphere of Resistance. Uh, no, they don't know that I... I'm, well, they do. They see what I have in hand. So I can Mystical Tutor, Hercules Recall, do it again. You know... Actually, that okay, so that's correct. That's what they're going to do. They're going to name Mox Ruby. If they play Walking Ballista here with three counters on it, remove the no. Okay. Um, if they play Walking Ballista with three counters, or four counters, excuse me, three that they can remove, uh, then I'm dead. So they're going to go walk, Walking Ballista, three counters, um, and then when I Hercules Recall it back to hand, my opponent can, you know, shoot the three counters off, it comes back to hand, and then they can play it for four, if they still have the mana, because I'm, well, they'll still have the mana, uh, and then I'm dead. Although that would have been true even if I had stayed at seven somehow. Um, you'll name Mox Ruby. Okay. Going to hit me with that sphere. Please hit me with the sphere. Well, what, we, what do we have? Mox Pearl? I should have said, well, whatever, it's fine. I should have said to my opponent, you can tap the ruby. Technically, you can't tap for mana abilities in the middle of a spell's resolution, as I understand it. Um, but, I wish I saw that line before casting. Dope! Homer Simpson. Um, okay. Oh, wait, wait. That's two. Huh. Huh. What's going on? Kaiba? What's going on? Alright. We're, we're responding to that. Oh, crap, crap, crap. That's the oh, crap. Responding. Crap. <laughs> Wrong button. Yes. That that is a misclick. All right, opponent, you know what I'm gonna do. You know what I'm gonna have to do here. Find card. I'm gonna have to hit you with the Hercules recall. Okay. I, I know it goes on top of the deck. I'm just going to untap, draw it. Please go away. There's a little there's a little bug in here. Please go away. I do not. I don't need any more friends. I I don't. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay. Whale. Whale. <clears throat> Whale. Whale. This can go on for a while. Unfortunately... No, well, it can't go on for too much longer. Look at my opponent. Oh, man. My opponent has double Ancient Tomb out. They, they can't keep doing this. They simply can't. They will run out of stuff real quick, actually. So... If I hit them with the Hercules Recall, I'm, we're going to have to deal with this again if I hit them with the Hercules Recall here. And then I'll have Brainstorm open. No, I won't. I won't because I can't tap the Mox Ruby. No, I mean... <sighs> Please, go away, bud. Go away. 
I like you too, man, but not that much. Hmm. Well, I mean, it's pretty obvious what I'm trying to do here, I think. I think it is. No matter what, my opponent's not going to be able to get that ballista to be as big, even if I Hercules Recall here. If I Hercules Recall in a bit, they're going to be able to add w at least one from the Steel Overseer, one from their uh, their mana from Mana Crypt and the Soul, uh, the the two Moxen. Um, so that's going to be three at the least. They could do four at me, five if they tap their Ancient Tombs, but that's assuming they can from Mana Crypt. So we're not going to make them do a Crypt Flip here. We're just going to recall here again, I believe. I believe that that is correct. Um, if I do it at the end of my opponent's turn, I can put up an Energy Flux, but I'm, I can't actually do that because they can go Alert Response. Uh-oh. Firing at me? Okay. Fire away. Oh, we're getting so close, folks. We're getting so close. If I had one more mana, I'd pull a Damping Sphere here, and I would just make my opponent cry. Pass turn. Okay. My opponent has definitely five mana to work with. Definitely, 100%, they have five mana to work with. They have Workshop and two Moxen. They also have Mana Crypt and Ancient Tombs, but those hurt. Those, those hurt for sure. So we have five here. What all is my opponent going to do? They can go Sorcerer, Spyglass, Sphere, or... Tr or they can't do Trend Sphere. I mean... Oh, oh, they're playing it. Risky business. Risky business. <laughs> hey, you do what you have to do. My opponent does not want to lose this. And, uh... Wait, wait. Oh, my God. That's seven... Oh no. Is this big enough on its own? Four, six, eight, eleven. Uh, they saw it. They saw it. That's. Oh. Broke my heart. Broke my heart. Okay, well then. Yeah, um... Well, at least you won anyway. Whew! I, when someone makes a, a misplay like that, and they still win, I end up being glad that they win, because I, I know when I make a misplay and I lose, I beat myself up about that. That's that's hard to take. You don't have anyone to blame but yourself. If it's a strict misplay. If it's a, a misplay like which line did you take and you just happen to choose the wrong one, like do I fetch a basic or a dual play around Wasteland? Um, in that case, you know, what can you do? But, uh, GG's. You're YouTube famous. <laughs> yep. Something like that. Oh my goodness. Again. Because <laughs> we had it twice, sort of. Sort of, you know. All going up in one video, but at the time we didn't know that. Alright. Take care, Magic Community. Ooh. Ooh. I'll see you later. Bye bye. Ooh.